Welcome to Canada! What is up fellow game collectors, Josh here from Game Hunters R Us. I have another pickups for you today, um, another pickups video rather I should say. Um, you guys can't see this but literally I am just surrounded by awesome stuff and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, I was kind of hoping, I was trying to stretch this out a little bit longer but honestly I just have too much stuff and if I wait much longer, um, my room's going to overflow because I, I normally put stuff in a corner until I can do a pickups video and then I put it all away and my corner was getting a little full so <laughs> I need to clear out my corner uh, so I can finally start organizing this stuff and uh, and putting it, getting it out of the way. Uh, the first thing I want to show is um, I got another grip for my PS Vita. This is the Nyko Power Grip. You can see it's got a little thing on the end that plugs into the power port and it has a plug on the bottom there and locks in place. Um, this comes with the Nyko, the box obviously. You can see the it's priced there for uh, $24.99. Um, if you can find this for $24.99, good for you. These things go for roughly $60 to $80 now on eBay. Um, so I basically had written off getting one of these power grips and that's why I got the other one that you saw in one of my other videos. Um, but I saw this pop up on GG. the guy just said uh, please contact and didn't have a price for it. So. Um, he offered, or he, I contacted him and said, uh, hey, do you want to get, uh, would you mind giving me a price for that? And uh, this was the same guy that I bought Persona 4 and uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation off of uh, previously. And it was literally like two days later I saw this pop up and it was the same guy. Um, so he sent me a price of $20 for it and I threw him back a, a bid for 15 and he took that. So 15 bucks for that is pretty awesome. Uh, this will this has a built-in battery in it, and it basically doubles the life of your Vita. Um, I think I've been going for about a week now, and I haven't ever, I haven't charged it yet. That's how awesome this thing is. So if you can find one for cheap, definitely do it. Um, they're not easy to come by, so uh, best of luck to you if you do decide to try to get that. Uh, next up, I got one of these uh, video game selector things. This one's actually kind of cool because it has like stuff written in it like DVD, PlayStation, N64, GameCube, PS2. Uh, it's by Hip, Hip Gear. It actually says System Selector on it. Um, so basically you just plug all your systems in the back and then you just kind of select which one you want and then you're good to go. Um, these are always good to have especially again hooking up multiple, multiple systems into one input. Um, I have eight systems currently but I have a few more systems uh, that I want to get or will hook up eventually and this will help up with that. Uh, next I found this game at uh, Value Village, I think it was seven dollars and that is Dance Dance Revolution Universe 3. Um, I bought the second one, Dance Dance, Uni Dance Dance Revolution Universe 2 with the dance mat completed box uh, for five dollars off PGG. Um, the songs in that one are okay and this one's apparently better. Um, Honestly guys, this is a great game for parties, just throw a mat down and you'd be surprised who actually gets up and dances to it. Um, I think you had a, I had some friends over and my wife and I and a bunch of our friends were just playing it for about 3 or 4 hours, just constantly going over songs, so uh, it's definitely uh, definitely a fun game. A lot of people won't admit to liking it, but once it's on and, you, and people are playing it, people will get into it. Uh, next I had a donation from uh, one of my friends, he was moving. Uh, he knows I like old video games, so he was putting all his DVDs and games out on the shelves. And this pulled, he pulled this one out, and it is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Uh, this is not complete, just the disc. Um, <clears throat> I was given this under specific instructions that I can't trade it away or sell it or anything like that. So this will be in my collection, probably so that he can come over and play once in a while. His PS3 is not backwards compatible, um, so he can't really play that. Uh, next at Goodwill, I found uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Uh, this is a pretty good, a pretty good buy for five bucks. I thought uh, it is complete. 
Resident Evil games are always good good pickups around here. Uh, next, actually, you know what? Pretty much the rest of the stuff was all Kijiji deals. Uh, that's that's the uh, the name of the video is uh, La Kijiji Loca. Um, that was literally all I found. Like these these three games, actually not even those three games. These two games. And the system selector was was all I found at Goodwills and Value Villages over the, since my last pickup video. Everything else has been Kijiji, and it's been really nice actually that I can actually you know talk to people and get prices down a bit and not have to pay standardized pricing for everything. Um, so this was the first deal that I got. Uh, there was someone selling PS3 games, um, and so he said these my prices are firm unless you buy bulk. So I threw him a, a bit of twenty bucks uh, for three games. Uh, I'm only going to show you two and then explain why. Uh, the first one I got was Ico and uh, Shadow of the Colossus, uh, the HD remakes for the uh, PS3 or the HD versions of them. Um, really, I actually really wanted to play Shadow of the Colossus. Um, I have it for a PS2 and I was playing it for a while, um, and then I just got sidetracked with something else. Uh, but I actually saw that these ones are 3D compatible, and I have a 3D TV now, and honestly. Fighting Colossus in 3D is pretty freaking amazing, um, and it's a good game. The only thing I don't like about it is the camera is stupid. <laughs> uh, other than that, the game is great. I love it, except again the cheap, the cheap fall-offs because you couldn't actually see what you were doing. Uh, is gets a little bit annoying after a while, but other than that, it's it's awesome, and I definitely recommend recommend you trying it out. At least the PS2 version. Um, if not, definitely get the uh, the PS3 one. Uh, the other one I got was Nino Kuni, uh, The Wrath of the Wait Witch. Yeah, that's what it's called. A lot of W's in that one. Um, not entirely um, interested in this game per se, um, but I figured it was one of the more high-valued games uh, on the list. So I figured for 20 bucks, I wanted to get something that I would uh, like, something else, and then at least something I could resell. Uh, and at least get half my money back. I can sell this for 10 bucks, and then I basically got everything else for 10 bucks, which is pretty good. Uh, there is another game uh, which I'm not showing you uh, specifically because I am putting that into the prize pack for the 250 subscriber contest video. Um, so if you guys aren't aware, we just passed 100 subs. I think we're up to 159. I think now maybe 160. Uh, ben and I are going to do a contest at 250 subscribers, and honestly, guys, I am stacking stuff away, and I'm putting some good stuff uh, in the prize pack, uh, so make sure, like, if you can, like, spread the word. I'm not trying to use this as specifically advertising, but the sooner we get to 250 subs, the sooner we can have the contests uh, to, to give stuff back to our fans and our subscribers. And honestly, guys, we really appreciate it. I know we said that a million times, but we really do appreciate that you guys are watching our videos and enjoying them and stuff like that. So, uh, anyways, the third game from that deal is in the prize pack. <laughs> uh, and there's other stuff too, obviously. Uh, this next deal uh, came from, uh, again, Kijiji. And I went to pick up a system that I thought was a pretty good price, so I went to check that out. Uh, I will get to that in a second, but then after I asked him, you know, what, uh, what, do you have any other retro games and stuff you're selling? So, uh, we went to the back of his game room, and you're looking around, and he pulls out a few games, he's like, oh, I don't play this, I don't like this one, so, uh, for these four games, I paid $25, um, I figured it was a pretty decent deal. The first one is for the Sega Genesis, it is Super Thunder Blade, um, I actually have never played this game before, but, uh, it is complete, and the cartridge is in really good condition too. So, uh, looking forward to trying that one out. Uh, next, I got uh, Fighter's Destiny on the N64. Uh, this was a game he just kind of threw in on top because of what else I was buying. So, but I guess you could assume that I paid for it somewhat. Uh, the next is Jet Force Gemini. I've heard this is an underrated game slash hidden gem on the N64 and really been trying to find it and, and check it out. Uh, the guy was only asking, I think, uh, five bucks for that one, so I, I decided to get that. Or ten bucks, something, five or ten. Um, and the last one I got was Quest 64 on the, for the Nintendo 64. Obviously, you can see the cartridge, you know what it is. Um, but yeah, um, 
again, it's another RPG. I hear it's a, it's a more simplistic RPG, uh, so maybe I'll be checking that one out. Um, again, I'm not huge on RPGs. I'm trying to get into them, or I'm trying to be willing to work up into getting into them. Uh, with school right now, I just don't have time to, to jump into an RPG. But uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get some games together that I can once summer hits I can actually try and work my way through a few of them and at least get into them a bit more. Um, the reason I went to that guy's house originally is I saw this posted, uh, not this specific one, uh, but it was a Sega Saturn. Uh, this is my Sega my second Sega Saturn. You see my first one's right here. Um, he had a this. And uh, a game, which is a disc-only Daytona USA. Uh, this has got to be the most popular game for uh, the Daytona uh, for the Sega Saturn. Uh, this is like my, my third copy of that game. Um, it's the not for resale one too. So um, yeah, 30 bucks for this and the game, and obviously the plugs. Um, he said that uh, he had a controller for it, but it didn't work. But he'd put it in in case he wanted it. Um, so I went and check it out, and the first one he, he actually had two Sega Saturns. This one uh, was the second one he showed me. This was actually his own personal one uh, that he said was missing a few screws out of the bottom of it. Um, and honestly, I can only see I think there's only one that's missing, maybe maybe two. Uh, but he made it sound like well, the system was coming apart. But you can see it's it's just like a tiny bit of movement, but it's it's not coming apart. It's it's pretty solid. Um, and it was actually in much better shape than the uh, one he originally posted. Um, the controller he gave me was a third-party controller with turbo functions. Um, I brought it home, I plugged everything in, put the controller in, and it worked just fine. And actually, I would almost argue that this is a better controller than the regular ones. Uh, just because the D-pad is, is really like clicky and responsive, and you can actually feel like you're actually pushing a button. Um, so that was awesome, and actually he only charged me 25 bucks, so I got a Sega Saturn for 25 bucks. Uh, little brother, please don't hate me. I know you've been looking for one of these for a while, and I finally picked up two of them. So, essentially, I don't mean to rub this in, but I, I love hearing stories of deals, so I tell you guys when I get deals. Um, <clears throat> I only paid roughly about five or six bucks for this one, essentially. I traded some NES stuff that I got for about six bucks. Um, and this one, so essentially I got two Sega Saturns for, with Daytona USA for both of them, um, for 30 bucks, which is... Pretty awesome, actually. Um, so not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. I may uh, keep it as a spare. I may sell it or trade it off. Um, not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. But uh, awesome deal. I, I really couldn't pass that up for 25 bucks. Um, get all this stuff out of the way. Um, the next day, I saw another ad for another system. Again, that's not entirely common around here. And it is... Gosh, so much stuff. It is a Sega Dreamcast. Uh, this one has an Atari sticker on it, unfortunately. <clears throat> uh, plugs, uh, controller with a VMU, and it also came with uh, Atari Anniversary Collection from Dreamcast. Um, this whole system was 25 bucks. Again, another $25 system. Uh, awesome deal. Couldn't pass it up. I actually need the controller and a VMU because I only have one there with just a regular memory card. Uh, so I actually want a VMU and an extra controller for two player. Um, I'll probably keep the game even though it's disc only. Um, but the system I'm going to try to uh, sell or trade off um, to someone. I'm going to try to get the Atari sticker off. It's on there pretty good though so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but that was awesome. I really couldn't pass that up. Essentially I got two systems for 50 bucks that go for about 40 to 50 each, so half price. Um, I, you really couldn't go wrong with that. Really excited to get that. Um, this is the last deal that I got for the day, uh, for this couple of weeks. Um, and honestly, it's probably the one I was most excited about. Um, I love Vita. I love all the Vita stuff. Uh, I've been really trying to get into it more. Uh, so I saw an ad for someone just getting rid of all their P PS Vita stuff. Uh, they're trying to go all digital, so they're getting rid of all their car memory cards and all their game cards and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> so I just couldn't pass it up for the price of it. Uh, it came, the first there's this uh, little PS Vita game holder case. Uh, the first game in it is uh, MLB The Show 12. You can 
see that there. And the other game is Resistance. This is Fall of... No, oh, Burning Skies. Resistance, Burning Skies. Those are obviously um, card only. But uh, the card holder is nice to have in case I travel somewhere. I don't have to carry around a bunch of cases. <clears throat> um, oh, and for all of these games, I paid $60, um, which was a bit much. I tried to bid them a bit lower. Again, not because I'm trying to be a jerk, but I'm just I'm just trying to save money. I spent a lot of money. I spent uh, $50 getting the uh, the N64 games, the Genesis game, and the Saturn. Another $25 on the Dreamcast. Um, $15 on the on the grip and stuff. So it, it kind of added up pretty quick. So I was just trying to cut my expenses down a little bit. But hopefully I should get this money back. <clears throat> and also I will mention that uh, most of the stuff was funded by, uh, again, buying stuff from thrift shop, thrift shops, Goodwills, whatever, and reselling them on Kijiji. So the silver GameCube I bought with no controller, um, the PS2 Slim that I bought, both of those sold off and paid for a lot of this, but not all of it. Um, so again, if you can find stuff that you can resell, um, definitely do it. It definitely cuts down your expenses. And I think I've only paid, I've only maybe pulled maybe 50 or 60 bucks total out of my own money to pay for, for this stuff. Um, so the games in cases are uh, PS Vita Wipeout 2048. I get the light right there. There we go. Uh, this is complete. Obviously, game. It has an online pass, which is why these things are there. Normally, these don't have little slips in there, so don't freak out if you buy Vita games and they don't have a manual. They don't come with them uh, unless there's a online pass. Um, next, I got another copy of Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Um, <clears throat> I only, again, I only got this because it was part of the package deal, uh, 60 bucks, and I can also, I could turn around and sell this for $10, and make a little, and make a little money and cut down the cost of this, so I really couldn't pass it up. Next I got Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. Um, this is not the one that came with the system, which is another reason I wanted to get it. Um, it also has the Roads to Victory Online Multiplayer Pass card in there. <clears throat> Um, just for comparison, you can see that one doesn't have a manual. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Normally, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified comes with the, uh, the PlayStation bundle, so I wanted to get one in the case. Uh, next, I got another copy of Persona 4 Golden. Uh, this is, again, like another $25, $30 game um, that I can sell off and make a bit of money and decrease the cost of this bundle. Um, so that was really cool. <clears throat> and the game I was most excited about uh, that I've actually really been wanting to try for a while is uh, Dragon's Crown on the PS Vita. Um, again, another Atlas title. Um, just complete. It always seems weird saying complete and there's no manual, uh, but it is. Um, really interesting action, like side scrolling RPG. Um, again, not big in RPGs, uh, but I've seen videos of this and it actually looks pretty cool. Um, Reminds me of some other like old school platformer or old school side scroller beat em ups. Uh, so, really want to check that out. And it also came with the uh, Dragon's Crown artwork book. Um, so, in case you guys don't know, this game goes for about $30 used. <clears throat> um, it's currently going for still $40 on, at Best Buy. So, this was half the price of what I paid for the entire bundle. And this book alone on eBay cost another $30. Uh, so with this alone, this was worth the $60 I paid for all of these games and those games. So, awesome deal. I couldn't pass it up. Really happy that I got those games. I can add more stuff to my Gita collection. Because uh, I honestly, every time I'm on the, on the bus going to school, I can just whip it out, play for another, play for 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm good. I had my fix for the day or for that little bit, and then play it on the way back. So, uh, it's always nice. Uh, so thank you guys for sticking around and watching. Uh, before I leave, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Getting Your Nerd On uh, on YouTube. If you guys don't know them, link to their description will be down at the bottom. Check out their channel. They have, uh, or Zach from the channel has uh, graciously, graciously donated artwork to our channel. If you haven't noticed, our profile picture is a little bit different. Uh, if you look down there now, you'll see it. I think it'll be down here, down here somewhere. Um, if not, here, I'll put a picture of it up here somewhere. Ting! It'll show up, and it'll be nice. Uh, so, thank you very much, Zach, for for making that artwork for us. I really appreciate it. Definitely more talent than we have in our videos. 
uh, and artwork and everything like that. So definitely go check them out. Uh, drop a subscribe and a like on their videos as well. Um, so this video turned out a little bit longer. It's already going on 20 minutes. So uh, thank you very much for sticking around. Um, we're having, again, 250 subscriber contest. So the sooner we get there, the better. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.